Hi everybody, this is Roxy, and I just wanted to share with you my junk mini that I made for Christina Betts, who is CAB YouTube user. And this is for the yourpaperpantry.nang.com, and it was the theme this month was travel. <clears throat> so I um, had a blast doing this. And um, somebody asked the difference between a junk journal and a junk mini, and I believe the difference is a junk mini is something that you're going to be able to put photos and do some little journaling about your photos in the book, where a junk journal would be more um, journaling, you know, just journaling about, journaling about your life, maybe adding a photo here and there, but it's probably more heavy on journaling. So um, this is a junk mini, and another key to the minis is not using uh, paper line or lines to decorate your book but you're more using ephemera and ephemera is any kind of paper from you know that is either vintage or vintage inspired but it's any kind of like a a, a ticket a postcard you know um, you'll get the idea when you see it you know little things like this like pictures of little bicycles or whatever um, so what I did was I started out with I, wanted, I knew I wanted to use the new valise um, die from Tim Holtz, and I love how it turned out. I painted, I used Making Memories brown, cream, and then a mustard color, and mixed it all together, painted the valise so that it looks kind of like that old woven um, type of valise that they used to, or suitcase they used to use. And then I just used the brown paint on the um, straps and trims, and then um, I sprayed the gold color with uh, Walnut Gold Glimmer Mist and the brown I sprayed with coffee and then I um, used Lumiere Gold for all the brass little um, corners. On the binding I used um, just some gold organza and a little pretty taffeta gingham ribbon and I love using black and cream when I'm doing kind of a turn of the century inspiration uh, black and cream gingham or stripe is perfect for that era. And I added one of my charms, my Tim Holtz clasp, clasp charm. It's got some vintage little buttons and doodads on here. And this is what the full book looks like. I hope I'm getting it in there. And I wanted to use, I used graphics, Graphic 45's um, travel, no, Transatlantic for my inspiration. I didn't have a lot of the paper, but I did have a couple pieces, so I, I'm using Adventure as kind of the headline, or the the heading for the book. But she can always put something here or whatever. So um, in here I painted this back side, and then this is from the Graphic 45 paper too. It's a whole sheet of little stickers, so I just ran through my Xyron and stuck them on. This is a Hero Arts tag, and I love transparencies or acrylic because she can go ahead and either leave this like this or decorate the back of it or decorate around it put some fibers on here and that's another thing with the junk minis you're not doing a lot of embellishing with um, flowers or bling or fibers or ribbons you leave that up to the recipient or um, you know finish it off yourself later if you're making it for yourself this I believe is from either Seven Gypsies or Glitz Designs new amusement uh, Afternoon Muse, one or the other, they're very similar and, and um, I almost think they make it for them, Seven Gypsies, I don't know, but that could just be my crazy little idea. This, I have a lot of Cavallini postcards in here, this is one, and I just love, I, I just felt like it really went with this, you know, there's Christina waiting for her prince to come in and carry all her luggage away for her. Um, and then she can put a photo back here. She can add a photo here. And this is the Sev um, Tim Holtz Jalopy die. And I painted this with black Lumiere. And then I, um, I sprayed all the chrome with smooch silver. And then I just edged this with a little bit of black Tim Holtz, a black soot Tim Holtz. And I left this. If she wants to add a photo or leave it, again, I like the brown and, and black or the brown. You know, it kind of goes with the brown and cream. And then I did some rub-ons throughout. These are from Craft and Craftin. It's a travel 
thing. And she can use these lines as um, journaling and put a photo here. And this is another Cavallini Paris tag um, collection that I have. Really nice uh, quality and printing. And then she can hide stuff in here. That's another little rubbing moments in time. Okay, so this again is from Afternoon Muse. And these are Prima note cards that I have. It's a little note card spiral bound set. <clears throat> And this is also Afternoon Muse. I love this. It's so pretty. And she can either decorate the back and front or leave it as is. It's up to her. This I got in a rack from Sharon NJ Garden Girl. I think it's 1966. And I love it. It's really nice quality. And it has a tag inside that she can put a photo or journaling or anything on. And then, of course, that's a nice little spot to put some notes <clears throat> and also throughout, here's the first one, um, <clears throat> this one here, I used the Seven Gypsies uh, Cityscape board kit, and they're really cool, and they're so nice, they're really nicely finished. I compare it to, you know, a regular chipboard, to this is like unsanded wood and sanded wood. It's very nice. You can leave it as is, you don't have to cover it. You could put a photo here, and this is a nice um, happy time, happy time, happy time, rub on. And these are, it's a spot for another photo or tag or whatever. These are, Nancy with Tattered Treasures makes these, and they are just beautiful. The, the printing quality is, uh, is phenomenal. And she has a uh, Tattered Treasures YouTube site and Etsy site. And then this is just a postcard from the Making Memories Passport. And I made it into a little pocket using a Seven Gypsies note card and back. A Maya Road envelope to hide stuff. Another Seven Gypsies, or another Prima notepad paper. Some more um, passport tags. She can put something on the back of that. And I thought this was fun. She could put a photo on the back. And then maybe a photo here and then do another photo on the front and then journal here. Uh, that was kind of cute. I love these little board. They're so cool. And then this is a map of Canada from Cav Cavallini. Again, she can put photos. And then this is a paper bag that I sell and I die cut it with a Tim Holtz die. And this is a um, little yellow bicycle lucky border and it just is so pretty. Um, this is actually some vintage um, bus passes from 1945, and it's actually the bus, the Hamlin Cherokee line, that my scrubby took to come and visit me. Not 1945, of course, but that's the line he took to get around town. Oops, there. And then this is just a tag I made with the new Tim Holtz craft paper. I love it. <laughs> and then that's... Uh, Making Memories, little bloomer or whatever. And this is a Katie uh, library pocket. And again, Christina can do whatever she wants. Use it for journaling, put a photo in, or leave this tag, happy everything. And another rub-on. <clears throat> and then this is a um, Seven Gypsies. I love these. These are so cool. And an old um, flash card for learning notes and she could journal on this believe and put photos on the back um, another passport tag an itinerary I suppose should have been in the front hmm. and another seven gypsies another coin envelope and these I kinda left blank so she can have more fun with them herself this looks like you know a skyscraper but you can make it you can make it a cake a wedding cake or whatever Put some paper on there herself. And then this is another Tattered Treasures. Aren't they beautiful? Really nice. And the way she packages them, if you look in some of my older videos, I did the way she packaged them. It's just beautiful. And then these are just making memories, um, journaling spots kind of things. And here's the map of Europe. Another Seven Gypsies journal tag. <coughs> Here's another spot for a photo. This is from the um, cut and paste ephemera pack, as is this bicycle. 
And again, I thought she could have fun putting something behind here and then cover this way too. Another seven gypsies. And this is a um, acrylic banner from Afternoon Muse. And I think this is, this again is either Seven Gypsies or Afternoon Muse. They're very similar. And this I thought was cool. This was from the Graphic 45 paper. <clears throat> and it's a St. Paul, Minneapolis, Chicago line. So I thought that was kind of a little reminiscent, uh, or a reminder who, who made this and where I'm from. And another Prima, a tag that I made from the paper. And then again, this is just the, the headline for the book and a little bike from the cut and paste. And again, this is uh, Little Yellow Bicycles Lucky, just for a little another pocket. And then I have So Happy Together in the back of the book. And um, that's it. Then I also, um, oops, I forgot where I put that. And I also just put the, on the back my name with my bombshell stamp and a Minnesota Welcomes You sticker. So I hope she likes it. I really had fun. I started this at 1 o'clock and I just pulled from, you know, I've got boxes of ephemera and I've got a box of tags and envelopes and i got a box of postcards and pictures and, you know, with different boxes that I collect stuff. And I figured out I wanted to use the Graphic 45 Travelog or Transatlantic. So I used that as my inspiration and then just pulled from those boxes. And I pretty much used up everything I pulled out um, and just went to town. It took, you know, one to four, what is that, four hours, three hours. And I had a blast. It was so much fun. And I hope you can join us. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.